washing there, aren't you? This <laughs> <laughs> is a bit like the ringer. <laughs> Really what are you making? Uh, well, I'm just make, we're just making a slab here at the moment. So um, this is it's a, it's a easy way of rolling out. So we're just um, just squashing it into the What are you making? Uh, just a bowl, I think, it's just a, with a glass, uh, uh, glass indentation. Show her. Okay, is that okay? Am I mm -hmm. yeah, I felt good. So we'll have a, a is glass insert. You're all used to. How many students have you got? Twenty. How, how many have been any one time? Four, third class, maximum. The people are working on right now, so they they, they have to stay in a in a in a cowot that is mm -hmm. that is quite cold. Okay. So the pieces don't don't dry too fast. And we need to keep them wrapped in, in plastic too. <laughs> oh, if, they, if they dry too fast, if they are too hot, then they crack. Like that. Because okay. when it's... Um, yeah. Just let it, let it dry. Exactly. Let it do its own thing. Right. And anyway, when it's biscuit fire, we can, we can retouch a little bit if it's the case. Too. This part because this can create a crack later, yeah. So you just take a kidney or your finger actually and try to get rid of that crack. Sorry about that. I, no, don't I got worry. it on the head. I think it's the crease of the fabric. That's okay. You need to be a little bit okay. And now you start shaping with your hands whatever you want, yeah. So, for okay. example, like here, right? Whatever you want, you decide okay. where, 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 the, where the folds go, yeah. yeah. and stick my fish on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like glue. It's the, it's the wet clay. Sort of fish, different sort of fish following the other one around. <laughs> okay. It is a, and you know what? Salad in it. Exactly, it's just perfect. Perfect. Plus, it's not very difficult to storage. Yeah, because it's quite flat. What do sharks' tails look like? They go up a bit, don't they? Well, you can come any day, by the way. Not a problem. Because today is the... He's a, he's a hybrid he's sort of fish. No, 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 today is just... <laughs> your beautiful creation. Yeah, yeah. This is what is very important when you do molds and slabs. And it's covered very well with plastic. So it dries little by little. So you see it's pure. It's a little bit too liquid actually. I need to mix it more.
It is amazing what you can do with this leaf. Because you can decorate absolutely everything if you want. Mm -hmm. And there is many people that like just to put the sleep over the pots, so you make them very soft. Yeah. Of course, you cannot touch it, breathe, anything, but it's quite nice. So this is our first ingredient. This is... Um, normally you need something that is mild acid that can react with the clay because the clay is the contrary is when you say when it's like acid alkaline alkaline, alkaline. alkaline. Yeah. exactly so when they react together they make these beautiful shapes and this is vinegar that has been uh, mixed with oxides and what we need is a and a, and a, and a co cobalt which is oxide that gives a blue color to whatever you put on it now we're ready. So we put this two more. Let's say. So I don't have to do anything. You just drop this thing. Are making the beautiful trees. There's so much of bacteria. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It is. It is like exactly. It's like that. The seaweed. It takes us. Sea urchins. Yeah. 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 Actually, it could be sea urchins as well. It is a very easy technique, but the 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 the. The plates have to be completely bon, bon dry because if they are not bon dry, the, because it's getting water on it, it right can collapse green, green and blue. Exactly. And it just, as you see, you know, the the the, the acid makes whatever she wants. It's not it is not controlled by me at all. I, 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 I the only thing that I can control is where where it goes. But no, how the okay. shape is my good. my biggest inspiration has been has been always nature. I love nature, and uh, I I travel a lot, and I have seen many many different cultures. So that also inspired my work a lot. The the majority or what I enjoy the most is to do sculptural ceramics, and the majority of my pieces have uh, shapes of pebbles because uh, I, I just love pearl arrangements and wherever I go I'm always looking for, for that kind of, of of art which is very pretty. Uh, all of these big pieces are inspired in, in these arrangements of pearls, these, the big ones. And, and I, I love not, ju not just the, the geometrical part of them but also that it's not perfect. You know, it, it is made by nature, so they, 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 are, they are quite beautiful. And uh, I love to work with many techniques. I love the wheel, but, uh, but I love to combine the wheel with hand building. So the majority of these pieces also have many techniques of them. It's not just one. It is many, many of them together. The other thing that I enjoy very much is color. Because I come from a country that is always sunny, then for me color is, is very important. So many of my pieces has lots, lots of color. And, and for me it's actually just the, the idea of always having sunshine with me. And, and I try to bring that also to my pots. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love all of them. This is even worse. Mm -hmm. So this, this, this little pot has many techniques on it. And it is basically, this part is my own wheel. The rest part is hand and some of them is also coiling. So it, it, you know, it takes quite a while to try to, to do something like this. It has combination of glass and glazes, and that's why you see those vibrant colors in there. This one is, is even more difficult because it's again combination of wheel, slabs, 
and, and coils to be able to make that shape. Which is, you know, they are very organic, they, they have a lot of movement, which is why I, I love 